Hi, my Sag Collective. Welcome back to Masterpiece Tarot. If you guys are new, make sure you guys please hit that like and subscribe button, okay? This will resonate if you do have Sagittarius placements in your sun, moon, or rising, or just anywhere in your chart. Remember to please take what resonates, Sag, because this is a general overall reading. This is going to be your weekly reading from March 6th to the 10th. I just want to see what you guys could be expecting in this current energy and what's coming towards you this week, okay? So just take what resonates, leave the rest, all right? So let's get into your reading, all right? And if you guys are interested in booking with me, please check the description box down below. My number is down below as well as all the information you need about me, okay? Sagittarius. Oh, my, 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 my. In this current energy for you, what I'm getting for you this week, Sag, I see that somebody's getting ready to chase after you, okay? This could be somebody that you're in separation from. You separated from this person, and it's like when you separated from this person, they hit rock bottom after the separation. This could be a Taurus for some of you guys, okay? Let's see. Spirit guides, ancestors, universe, and the most half the highest light. What's going on in this current energy for my Sagittarius Collective? March 6th to the 10th, please. What's going on for Sag this week? Okay. So this is somebody that could have doubted you, all right? That you're a separation from, and they actually hit, you know rock bottom after you guys separated so this person doubted you in some type of way and now they're getting ready to chase after you okay this person played with you okay they were being very childish they was being very childish i'm seeing Ooh, all right for some of you guys if this person is coming after you because i do see they're getting ready to chase you so they are coming after you basically don't let this person make you an option because they play with you and they doubted you, okay? Could be an Aquarius for some of you guys. Could be an Aquarius or um, a Taurus here. Like, this is somebody that played with you. Like, do not let this person make you an option, all right? I feel like for some of you guys, if this person was doubting your money or your finances, whatever the case is, it's like you will have enough money to get whatever you want this weekend that's coming up, I'm seeing you're going to have enough money to get what you want, okay? Somebody here could drive um, a red, silver, black, or gray, or blue car, whether that's you or this person. Yeah, see, for some of you guys, maybe you guys are like, yeah, I have a new job coming in for y'all, okay? That's why Spirit is saying, don't let this person make you an option because they played with you. They were being childish and they could have doubted you. And now that, you know, maybe you're you're about to get this new job or like a new job offer, you're about to collaborate, you're going to have enough money to get whatever you want. And I'm seeing this weekend, okay? What else here, please? For my Sag Collective. Yeah, definitely Taurus. Heavy Taurus energy is out here. We only got Taurus and Aquarius so far, okay? What else for Sag, please, this week? Mm-hmm. All right, so this, whoever this person is, Sag, they're trying to come in with a lie to change your mind about something. I don't know what they trying to come in with a lie about, but they're trying to come in with a lie to change your mind. It's like somebody's trying to block your creativity in some type of way, and this could be an ex-lover, ex-girlfriend, or ex-boyfriend here, like... Somebody that watch you go from nothing, nothing to something. Somebody that watch you, you know, get it out the mud, basically. I was getting this for Libra. Maybe if you guys have Libra placements or, you know, you might want to go check out the Libra reading. But somebody's trying to block your creativity because they watch you go from nothing to something. This could be somebody that's just trying to, you know, like, fuck on you. Like, just have sex with you in some type of way. But we're going to see. We are going to see. Don't let this person make you an option, basically. Let's see, Spear. What else for Libra? What else for Libra this week? March 6th to the 10th, please, for Libra. Yeah, see, this was somebody that was not reciprocating towards you. I'm getting, like, maybe this person was just a player or they was playing with you, like I said. Somebody was playing with you. They played with you. They was being childish. And now karma is coming. Karma is coming for this person because they was not reciprocating, Okay? It's like, now this person want to chase after you. Now this person want to show you new or what you've been missing, child. Now It's like, now this person want to give to you after being for everybody. <laughs> uh, this person wants to talk. Now this person wants to talk. 
I'm telling y'all, whoever this person is, they getting ready to chase after you. Because now they want to talk. It's a jealous ex. Like I said, it's an ex-lover. They want to talk to you. This person is sad. They sad as hell. All right. <laughs> For some of you guys, this don't even have to be an ex-lover. This could be a jealous cousin. Like, your cousin could even be jealous of you in some type of way. Somebody could be just wanting to compete with you. All right? Could be a Leo for some of you guys. Be careful because it's like somebody really want to rush in towards you, but they got, like, some type of shady-ass intentions. I feel like there's about to be some type of third party that's about to get exposed. I don't know if this is... This jealous ex is trying to come in and expose this jealous cousin that's wanting to compete with them or something like that. I don't know, but... There's going to be some type of third party that's getting exposed because somebody wanted to, you know, end you and another person's relationship. Like, somebody feel defeated. Like, oh, if they can't have that person, then they don't want nobody else to deal with. Have that person, touch that person, see that person. Somebody's jealous of somebody's relationship. Like, they really want somebody's attention. Could be a cancer for some of you guys or a Taurus. So, be expecting somebody to reach out towards you, okay? Yeah, could be an Aries as well. <clears throat> Anything else? Anything else from my Sag Collective this week? Anything else for Sag? Yeah, somebody's not getting no type of attention. Somebody just feels sad because somebody's not paying them no mind. All right. Yeah, this person could be kind of popular. I feel like somebody's here mad because they can't get no sex. Somebody mad because they can't get no sex. Things are not going their way, so they mad. And Collective, things are about to take off for you. And somebody's crying over spilled milk because they could have doubted you. To. Yeah, somebody could have been talking shit behind your back. Not somebody about to ask if they can pull up and see you after talking shit behind your back. Like, some, there could have been some type of third party. I don't know. Somebody could be pulling up on you talking about a third party. I'm not sure, but there could have been some type of third party that was lying to your person because they was being really desperate. <laughs> like, your person's not even interested in them. Somebody that loves to be on every scene. Like, could be a Virgo. Like, mm, somebody, uh -uh. all right, but yeah, that's what's going on. We're going to go to the love portion. That was the tea portion, I guess. Yeah. Be careful. Don't let this person make you no damn option. Whoever this is that's getting ready to chase after you. Now they want to chase after you. They hit rock bottom since y'all separated. Let's see. What's going on for Sag? Love wise here. What's going on for my Sag Collective? Love wise this week, March 6th to the 10th for Sagittarius, please. Uh oh. What's going on for my Sag Collective? March 6th to the 10th. In love. Love wise. Let's see. What else for Sag, please? All right. <clears throat> Wow. Yeah, get ready and cheater, basically. Whoever this is, somebody's trying to come in, but they're a cheater. Like, somebody just... It's like giving sex. Like, they trying to come in and put on. Like, uh -uh. somebody don't want to be left behind, basically. Somebody just don't want you to leave them hanging. But this person's like a cheater. They feel like no one compares to you. <laughs> All right? And it's like this person know that it's time to make a decision about, you know, you guys' relationship or the relationship that they have with you. Somebody's getting ready to take a leap of faith. All right? Could be a Gemini for some of you guys. But I am hearing that song, Get Ready. That's a Tifa song that got Janae Aiko in it. Go, you should go listen to that song because this is what the vibe that this person is giving. It's giving like Netflix and chill vibes, but this person is a cheater. They don't want to be left behind. They feel like nobody compares to you, and they feel like they ain't going nowhere. <laughs> like, this person wasn't even, like, showing you, like, reciprocating. That's why that came out. Somebody wasn't reciprocating something. Like, they words wasn't matching their actions or whatever, whatever they was trying to do. Like, yeah... You're on this person mind heavy. Like, y'all could have thought it was love with this person. It turned out to be whack. They turned out to be a cheater. You could have blocked this person for some of you guys. They like, unblock me. Could be a Scorpio. They like, unblock me. They can feel like you're their true love. Like, 
Yeah, this person is definitely wishing you were theirs. I feel like you guys could have been this person true love. They just don't want to be pressured. Mm, they don't play no games about you. Yeah, twin flame here. This could have been a twin flame for some of you guys. All right. Somebody feel like they should have told you how they felt. Like maybe somebody wanted to have kids with you or a family. Somebody feel like they should have told you that. Now they just, you know, daydreaming about you or daydreaming about trapping you because we got a real trap you. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. This person is watching you, though. That's for sure. This could be a Libra for some of you guys. All right. Somebody is finally happy they decided on you. Okay. So, so maybe, maybe somebody's making their mind up. Now they want to choose you. Okay. Could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well. Yeah. Cancer. <sighs> definitely giving twin flame energy somebody was just not showing a true self okay all righty what else for sag here what else for sag what else for my sag collective we're gonna see what else for sag all right so we got cupid's arrow have faith love is coming surprise invitation or meeting yeah this person's getting ready to come in with some type of love offer towards you or some type of surprise. Some Somebody want a new beginning here, okay? Somebody could have ended things with somebody else or maybe you ended things with this person. You just had to enable boundaries with this person or you need to, all right? Somebody's just really unsure of their future here. Let's see. What else for Sag? What else for Sag, please, this week? What else? All right, and we got retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I feel like this person could want to invite you out somewhere. Like, they just wanted to be you two together. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, Sag, I'm going to leave it there. That's what you guys could be expecting this week. Make sure you guys please like and subscribe to my channel once again. If you are interested in booking any personal readings with me, please check the description box below. My number's down below as well as all the information you need about me, okay? And I will see you guys later.